Good morning, Jim Baird from RJO Futures, August 6th, Wednesday morning, August 6th, that is. Bonds, new high for the year in the bond futures, in the subcontract anyway, up above 139. Of course, uh, with anything that's pushing new highs for the year, there's uh, a lot of reasons. Uh, one, geopolitical tensions, which also have gold at a two-week high, by the way. Uh, Russian troops apparently massing on the, on the border with Ukraine. Uh, people don't expect Putin to back down. Obviously, there's going to be some flight to uh, a flight out of risk assets into quality assets like U.S. bonds. Uh, there also is the uh, a discount to German boons. German bo uh, boons are, are trading around a one and a quarter level, whereas our 10 year uh, notes are around. Uh, uh, double that, and uh, you know, therefore, there's that demand for our notes. Uh, in the Wall Street Journal today, they mentioned the uh, the bonds are actually up. Uh, the return is up 14 percent on the year. This is a huge surprise. I mean, we've been going up grudgingly uh, all year, the entire year, uh, and at this point in time, with the uh, we, you know, with the kind of the late summer stock swoon going on here. Uh, I expect things to continue, but uh, maybe not accelerate, just, just continue. I mean, we could get down and test uh, even uh, lower levels in the yield. The demand is there. In fact, the story also highlighted that there's some demand for uh, ultra-long instrument, instruments as corporations and some government entities are, are raising money at 50-year uh, and even 100-year uh, uh, durations. So uh, demand's there. Uh, Fed tapering uh, doesn't seem to make any difference. The market obviously has discounted that. That's a very orderly process. Uh, it's built in. Uh, and here we are. As long as the stocks are uh, wobbly like this, uh, expect uh, strong uh, 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 notes and, and bonds. Uh, as far as reports coming up, uh, not too much. There's a 10 and 30 year. Uh, uh, announcements for next week for auctions for next week of course we got Thursday's job claims uh, really not much Friday uh, nothing to speak of compared to last week's uh, kind of blizzard of uh, releases on Friday we'll probably have a quiet finish to the weekend unless something big happens in Eastern Europe I can reach at 800 500 2461 to discuss any futures market have a great trading day thank you futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.